In today's podcast, I want to talk about loving a selfish person. It's from my book, It's All About Love, and I wrote a little bit, about, well, actually quite a lot, about loving very difficult people, because not everyone's easy to love. Loving a selfish person. The world is full of selfish people, and some of us love them. Selfishness means that everything is all about them. If you figure into the equation, there's often an ulterior motive. Everyone is different and we cannot or should not try to change anyone else. Nonetheless, if we love a selfish person, some big decisions have to be made. In a funny way, we have to be a little selfish too. This is because the selfish one will never consider us and in all situations we will be disadvantaged. Some of the sweetest people can be selfish, even though they would refute this. Some folks are born selfish. Others have been taught to look after number one first. Regardless of their origin, we have to find ways to deal with this behaviour. Often they are oblivious to their actions and if we bring up any issues, they refuse to see their selfishness. Perhaps they think it is their right or they just live in their little bubble. Either way, we have to address it because if we continue to give and nothing is returned, our love for them will diminish. Truly, there has to be acceptance that most selfish people never want to change. There is no incentive for them to alter because, as it stands, they get whatever they want. We give and they take. The amount we give or allow is our only way of making sure we are not taken advantage of. We have to begin using the word no more frequently. Of course, selfish ones do not like to be refused and take offence at not being given whatever they wish. But we have a right not to be used or abused. Therefore, we need to be a bit selfish too. Selfishness is in all of us, but the degree is what is important. By standing our ground, we can make it less likely that their selfish conduct happens all the time. We need to expect some bad mouthing, punishment and sulking to occur once we call them to account. Even though they know, deep down, that we are correct, many refuse to acknowledge their selfishness. Generally, if selfish people respond by attack, guilt tripping, blaming and manipulation. We mustn't be fooled. We need to remember who is being selfish and not allow ourselves to be bamboozled. It takes a firm hand to deal with the selfish person. In calling them to account, they give us more respect and are less likely to try and get away with as much. If they fail with us, they will simply prey upon another unsuspecting person. Selfish people can be lovable. However, given the choice between you and them, typically they will always come first. It's not personal. It shows who they are. Love them and keep looking after number one, you. In this section, I've also written about loving a sport brat. I think a sport brat is very similar. So I'll do that today as well. And the sport brat is a handful to love. Sport people are extremely annoying, badly behaved, immature and selfish to the extreme. May, they may exhibit narcissistic traits and will normally act up and cause trouble. Brats believe they are entitled to whatever they want. They can be determined in their efforts to get what they want and we may let be left burned and exhausted. In relationships, brats refuse to take responsibility for anything, which is most frustrating. Patience is not one of their virtues and unless they receive instant gratification, there can be noisy outbursts. Brats selfishly want to control everything. They push us to the brink because there's no reasoning with them. Make firm boundaries and keep them. You will be unpopular, but who cares? Maybe they will leave you alone, and that is a plus. Do not get sucked into their dramas and don't respond to their many temper tantrums. It will simply ignite the situation. The smaller the audience they have, the better it is for everyone. On matters that are important to you, do not, I repeat, do not give in to them. It is the same whether they are children or adults. Once they realise you can be manipulated, it will never end. Refusing them will have consequences, screaming, crying, threatening and sulking are many of the tactics used. Still, if you hold your ground, it will go well for the next time. On a deeper level, brats know they're acting up. They will never admit this, yet underneath they understand good and bad behaviour. Typically, brats try their luck. Many times they win. Be loving and kind and do not let them control and manipulate you. It will benefit them when you stand up to them because it will give them a sense of security and show them where the boundaries are. Sport brats are not bad people. They just do bad things and drive everyone insane. Some children grow into decent, responsible adults. However, it is common for them to remain brats as adults. You can recognise them because adult brats respond to the world like a child. 
As adults, in an effort to regain control and continue living as spoilt brats, they, ju- they will choose particular partners. Adult males and females normally find a parent figure. These helpless adults choose such people as partners so they can re- reinvent a world similar to when they were young, and this feeds into their take on life. Brats are not flexible and expect the world to adjust to them, and they think they do not have to fit in with everyone else. No one likes a spoilt brat, whether they are 5 or 65. Regrettably, in time, most of their relationships are destroyed or compromised. Their obnoxious and troublesome behaviour corrupt their lives and backfire on them. People tire of them and generally step away. If you are a bit of a brat, considering changing because ultimately you will pay, try to be more loving, considerate and flexible. Keep in mind that as an adult, the world does not revolve around you the same as when you were 8. Loving a sport brat is not a picnic in the park. It is challenging and unrewarding. All the same, they need love too, even if they have not figured out yet how to give it back. I feel there are many selfish people in the world and we deal with lots of sport brats. Most of them are grown up now. (laughs) I think that's why I wrote the section with the selfish people because I think they actually go together. So I want you to start looking around the world at your selfish and unselfish family and friends and also at the sport brats and I think you will start to to identify who they are also the degree there's a degree of selfishness that's what you need to look at it's not a criticism of people it's just a degree they are usually always take the biggest amount of food at the table they don't consider your needs and want you to drop everything and do it for them they very rarely ask you about you the conversation will often be very very centered on them However, having said that, if people are going through a trauma, you need to be aware that they will be the centre for a while while you're helping them through it. I try not to be selfish with them in a normal way. I, I try to be selfish in the way that I put, have to put myself first with them on certain issues because they will not consider me. It will always be about them. I think you can work this out quite well. I still want to be loving, kind, generous, etc., etc. However, I don't want to be at the whim of this selfish behaviour. And in a way, I think we almost contribute to it or keep it going. When people make boundaries with selfish people, as I wrote, you will have issues. Usually they blame, punish you, withhold, because they're not getting their own way. And there's a huge sense of entitlement with selfish people and sport brats. So I wish you good luck with them. They're hard work because you do love them, but you just wish that they would be perhaps more kind, more generous, more empathic. You also wish that they would sometimes see it from your point of view. And selfish people tend not to do that because they always see through their own eyes, whereas uh, unselfish people see it through the eyes of the other person as well. So your role is to get them to see it through your eyes. So I wish you luck with this. You're going to need it. Some of the most selfish people are also the most charming, so don't be deceived. Have a look around. Once you open your eyes to this, it'll make it easier. We don't have to change them, but we do have to manage it. And that's why I wrote this one. So have a good week. Love to you all. And I hope that you meet more unselfish ones than the selfish ones.